Today we're going to talk about this genus Lomatium, uh, also known as desert parsley. There's uh, about 10, 12 species maybe in the area, um, and three very common ones that grow together right now that I want to focus on. And I'm going to put them together because they look very similar, and you can see why they're all put in the same genera, Lomatium, because they have the same kind of flowers, and when you look closely at them, you'll see that the flowers are almost identical in their structure. And what they do is they grow in these umbels. So umbel is a word meaning it's umbrella-like. The flowers come out, radiating out, and then in this case, they're compound umbels, so each little floweret is a small umbel built into a larger umbel. So the characteristic of these umbels in the Lomatium family is that the flowers are in dense heads, and these produce large landing platforms for insects to land on. So the insect can land on this and walk from flower to flower or fly from flower to flower. And they're easy to approach from any direction, both on the larger scale can approach from any side, and then on each cluster can approach from any part of the cluster. So this makes it very efficient for pollinators to visit. And these are lots of little flowers all densely packed together. And they're very small to match the mouth parts of the insects that visit them. These are not insects with large mouth parts because these are tiny flowers. So they're designed to accommodate little tiny insects or smaller insects. One thing that's interesting about these lomatiums is that the overall sex of the plant will change as it ages. And they have a mix of what are called perfect flowers that have both male and female parts, and they have flowers that are just male. And the ratio of those two different kinds of flowers changes over the seasons and umble to umble, so that as the, as the pollinator is visiting, it's visiting male, female, male, female, male, female parts, and it creates a ratio. It seems like a lot of these flowers are designed for flies. These are called myophilus flowers. Um, myo means fly, phyllis is loving, so fly loving flowers. They're small and they're open and they're densely clustered. They produce a sweet or musky smell and they produce nectar in the middle of the day, but the nectar is highly concentrated and in very small amounts. So flies will use a spit and lap technique where they'll spit out a little bit of saliva and let the saliva dilute the sugars that are crystallized in the heat of the day and then they'll lap it up. That crystallized sugar on these little tiny flowers would not be available to other pollinators, but flies are able to use it. So it's specially designed for flies. This particular one is Lomatium dissectum. And again, Lomatium is a word meaning border. Loma means border, and it refers to a fringe around the seeds of these plants. Uh, so Lomatium dissectum, this one's called dissectum because the leaves are actually up to a foot long, but they're so highly dissected into little tiny leaflets so you don't even think about them being that big because it looks like it has tiny leaves. This is a long-lived perennial. They have a deep taproot which allows them to survive in this dry shrub step habitat where they do so well. Another one of the three common Lomatiums we're seeing right now is this Lomatium ambiguum which is called swale desert parsley. It fills in the gaps everywhere in this sagebrush steppe habitat. These little yellow flowers you see just carpeting incredible parts of the, of the landscape here. It has the same general structure as the other lomatiums. It has a compound umbel with an umbrella of flowers built of smaller umbrellas all working together. And it has, also has finely dissected leaves, fern-like little leaves extremely common plant here. Here is our other third common uh, Lomatium. This one's called bare stem Lomatium. The stem has no leaves along it, no flowers along it, so it's got a bare stem. The leaves are different than the other two we've looked at because the leaves are entire and they're like egg-shaped. Uh, easy to recognize. They're kind of a bluish green. Apparently they taste like celery and they're rich in vitamin C. So it becomes a popular spring vegetable. This plant is also known as Indian consumption plant because the Native Americans used it to treat consumption, which is tuberculosis, also sore throats and colds. Uh, so it's a powerful medicinal plant as well. So again, these umbels are what characterize these lomatiums. This is a very complex group. It takes specialized skills to key them out and separate them. But I picked three of the common ones that are easiest to separate from each other. You don't need any specialized skills to recognize these. And it's a great way to get familiar with this very common, abundant plant, which is so important here in this shrub step habitat.